Hey everybody, this is Wisdom with the Songwriters Cafe, and today we have a special guest, and her name is Kelly Puckett. Hey Kelly. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, where are you located? Where do you reside? I'm in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. So out in the middle of nowhere, basically. <laughs> <laughs> kind of near Akron. That's what we always say. Is that oh, near. okay. Yeah. So people know where that is. <laughs> and Ohio is that part of the United States or? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely is northeast. You know, near Lake Erie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we actually have a couple of um, team members of All About Worship who live in Ohio, not too far from where you are. Oh, so. well, that's neat. And actually, well, one of my sisters, or two of my sisters now, live in Ohio. Okay. And so, yeah, I've been to Ohio, Ohio, and there's basically nothing really there to see. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really anything exciting. Yeah. I mean, there's the Rock, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's one thing. I've uh, never been, but I've heard that's a lot of fun. Okay. But not really a lot of things that, there's Cedar Point. I've heard about that. Okay. That's the uh, roller famous, coaster. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So oh. that's something. <laughs> oh, you got trains. I hear trains. Yeah, there are trains. <laughs> We're right by a train station. It was the weirdest thing when we first moved here. I didn't know. It kind of kept me up at night because it'd be in the middle of the night and we'd hear, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? But we're used to it now. But we're like yeah. right down the street. It's crazy. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have the same issue. Um, it's not like right down the street, but it's pretty loud when they honk that thing. Man. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you you are an up and coming artist, and you actually recorded a re EP recently. Uh, can you first tell us? Kind of how you started, you know, in music. Why did you first start, you know, singing or writing or playing? Um, well, I know that with singing, um, I hear the story all the time. But um, I think I would like hum to myself as soon as I could hum, mm. as soon as I was old enough to hum. And um, and I remember uh, one of our neighbors used to drive us to preschool, and so I was like, I guess four at this time. And I remember when I was older, she would tell me about how I'd sit in the back of the car and just sing to myself, <laughs> like just looking out the window, like la la la, you know. And um, and I'm like, man, I probably look like a weirdo <laughs> just singing to myself, but well. Um, and then another thing that I remember is when I was, I think I was four or five, so the same age. I used to love to sing and swing, oh. and we had a uh, a swing set in our backyard, and so I'd go out there all the time. And I remember I loved Disney movies. <laughs> And uh, Little Mermaid was my favorite. I don't know why it was. <laughs> and so <laughs> I would go out there all the time and sing um, whatever that song is. And <laughs> I didn't know any of the words, you know, because yeah. I was five. <laughs> so I'd make, just make them up like I knew the tune. And so I'd just make up the words and just sing like la la la, you know. <laughs> and I just remember my, my sister is a year and a half older than me. And um, my older sister. And she... <laughs> She used to stand, you know, on the edge of the swing set and say, mm. those aren't the right words. That's not the words. <laughs> those are not the right words. And so she'd just keep repeating herself, Kelly, those aren't the right words. And so <laughs> I remember saying, my mom said I used to say all the time, I can sing it however I want. And so I'd just like <laughs> pick up the words as I was singing along. And she said that was like one of the first moments where she knew that I loved to sing because <laughs> I would just make up stuff. <laughs> That's so, awesome. yeah. And then, um, and then, you know, I was involved in choir and, um, all kinds of stuff, especially at church. That's kind of where I first loved music. Um, I guess because it was kind of a comfort zone for me because I was just surrounded by people that loved me and supported me. And But then, you know, when it came to school and other scenarios, I would never sing in front of people. You know, I was always so shy. And I was shy anyway, but I think at church it was just comforting. Um, and so I didn't really, I mean, I was in choir in school as well. And so that was kind of, those were like the only people I could like sit in front of. Looking back, it's kind of weird, but um, it was only, I was like, okay, I'm comfortable here. Um, cause I'm naturally an introvert, and so, especially back then, I was really, really shy, and mm. I would never want to put the spotlight. So, um, and then I remember in, it was my senior year of high school, um, it was the first time I'd ever sung in front of, pe like, just peers, just people, oh. friends at school and things that weren't in choir or anything. Um, and my friend and I sang a song during a pageant. It was a uh, Mr. North Met pageant, which is kind of a spoof on the Mrs. North Met pageant. <laughs> they needed someone to sing during the intermission. 
And so they asked my friend and she asked me and uh, we sang in front of like 500 people. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was so nervous. It was crazy. But it ended up going well. But I just remember I was like, I've never done this before. I've never done this before. <laughs> And, um, but yeah, I ended up going pretty well, which is awesome. But <laughs> I just remember that moment. I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, I got a little jolt of adrenaline and, and it was pretty fun. But, um, but yeah, just always, I think I've always, especially singing, mm -hmm. um, I've always kind of tried to seek out opportunities where I can be surrounded by music and, and people who also love music. And that was basically what I did all throughout college, um, as well. So Cool. Yeah. And yeah. when did you start learning to play instruments? Um, actually, first my first instrument was a violin. Oh. <laughs> um, it was I did Suzuki for five years, I think. I was five when I started, um, and I had like a little cardboard box violin with <laughs> like um, rubber band strings, <laughs> and so I'd, I'd play like carry that around the house. I don't know. Um, but I did that for about five years, and then my teacher also taught piano, and um, and so I started taking piano from her, and that was a whole other thing because I had been doing everything by ear, oh. and so I had to learn how to read these notes. I was like, I don't know what these notes are. You know, this is A1, and this is A2, and this is A3, and so that was new, but um, I ended up loving piano, too, um, and then... Guitar, I actually kind of taught myself. My parents had played, and so they had a guitar lying around, oh. and um, they had like guitar chord sheets, and um, and so I would just kind of like play with it and play G. Okay, that's G, and then I play C. You know, and so it's kind of built up from there. But um, so I learned probably learned that maybe in high school, and then I played a lot more guitar in college, just playing in my dorm room by myself and yeah. picking songs off the internet that I liked or you know yeah. random things like. But, um, and then I led worship with guitar uh, my senior year. So, oh, um, cool. but yeah, so that's kind of how that happened. <laughs> so, obviously, music was a big passion of yours um, all, all your life. Mm -hmm. So, when did you actually start writing songs? Um, I was in college. It was my freshman year. And um, I think... I just had a few friends that had started writing songs, and one in particular was using scripture to write songs. I was like, I never thought about writing. You know, that must be really hard. <laughs> and so I, uh, so I tried it, and of course I've, um, I've had multiple songs that have kind of flopped. You know, I <laughs> you have to before you, yeah, you kind of you know gain momentum or have practice. So yeah. um, I have multiple songs that are kind of like, eh, you know, yeah. <laughs> so they're not played as much. <laughs> but um, most but of yeah, my songs college, are like that. So I, <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess I was 18, um, and so now I'm 24. So that was about six years ago. But it's kind of on and off. It wasn't at all all the time. Yeah. Uh, so it was just kind of like, hmm, I'll try something, and then I'd, you know, try something random, and, and it happened. But it wasn't as much of a diligent, you know, ongoing yeah. thing as I kind of hope it was back then. But yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. And mm -hmm. actually, uh, we connected because you were actually one of the first members of um, All About Worship, mm -hmm. our plus site, um, and you've been participating in our monthly songwriting challenge ever since. Um, and obviously, when people started hearing your music on the plus site, they were like, oh my goodness, <laughs> this girl is amazing. <laughs> so you kind of you know stood out to everybody. Uh, Tell us what your experience has been like engaging in that community, you know, how you benefit from it. Um, I think it's been really just basically forcing me <laughs> to stick with writing. Um, yeah. I think it's really easy, at least for me, to kind of put it to the side or, mm. um, you know, if I have, you know, school or work or stuff that seems at the time more important, it's kind of like, well, I can do that later or, you know, <laughs> I don't have time. Yeah. Um, I don't even know but it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to like you know for sometimes for me to stay motivated. But I yeah. think it's really helping me because it's been because um, it's like okay, I have to. It's keeping me accountable. I've got to have a song done. So let's see, you know, where we can go. And plus, I think it's helped me kind of figure out more of my style and mm. what you know 
where I do fit, like the whole indie thing. I didn't know that was what I was, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, just kind of figuring it out as it goes has been pretty fun to think, well, maybe this is my style and maybe this yeah. is right. And, um, and then just also, of course, having the people that I've actually never met <laughs> in person, <laughs> but having them there to, you know, comment and uh, support and give advice and things like that. Yeah. Um, Cause most of them have probably been doing it longer than me. So, um, so that's been really helpful, but I really, I mean, it's been a really positive experience overall um, to be able to to do that. I think mainly it's the accountability. For yeah, me. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think you know, just one of the great things about technology is that you can connect with people without ever really meeting them and you know, face to face, and you would never meet them. You know, like have right. that <laughs> opportunity. Yeah. Um, besides, you know online and in a community like that so i think that's really awesome you know being able to connect with other people through an online community uh, right and i'm really excited about um the release of your ep actually this week as we record mm -hmm. it, it was earlier this week that uh, we released it and um you know i helped you a little bit with my limited you know experience and <laughs> graphic design uh lack of skills <laughs> I love um, <laughs> so uh your ep is called uh, rise and it's available on noisetrade.com for free and mm -hmm. actually they can just go to noisetrade.com slash kelly puckett and download it for free there yep. and obviously you know you don't have a huge record label behind you like emi or something that's like funding you know your project right. um you just you worked with what you had, you know, which is your makeshift home recording studio. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you're learning how to record, you know, um, the proper way and things like that. But I think, you know, the EP came out great and, you know, I love the four songs on it and you have, you know, a lot of other songs as well. Um, and one of the four songs, you know, is called Praise Resound and it's kind of more like a hymn Himish mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> feel. Um, tell us the story behind that song. How you came about that song? Well, it's it's funny because there are, well there are very few songs that I kind of that happen really quickly. You know, because most of the time it takes a good while to kind of get everything together. But um, with this, it was funny because I had just been talking to my husband about the song of the month because I was hmm. I don't know if I was running behind or what, but I was kind of like. <laughs> It's like, you know, I need, I was like, I really want a song that kind of sounds like a hymn, mm. that has kind of that repetitive, simple, but pretty kind of sound. Um, and then, you know, and I, I'd love to throw in some scripture there um, as well, you know, so that it sounds legit, I guess, yeah. or, you know, so that it, so that, because I'm, you know, trying more and more to not only just like have my words, but include, that's one thing that I'm trying to do, is just include more of scripture because I yeah. feel like it's an important part. Um, and then... And so I kind of was like, well, I'm just going to go play around on the keyboard because I have a little keyboard here. And so I just started playing and I just, I just you know, played the little da 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 <laughs> part. And I was like, huh. <laughs> and probably, I don't know, um, 15 minutes later, it was basically, I mean, not the details, but it was basically together. And I was like, wow. fuck, come and hear this. <laughs> like, this is crazy. So, and that doesn't have to be ever. <laughs> but it was just funny because I was like, I had just been talking about this. I was like, hey, thanks, God, you know. <laughs> What's wrong with this? So, and then the words came later, which is usually the way it works. But, um, and so I was just reading through Psalms and um, I found a Psalm in there that I was like, well, this this works really well with, you know, the rhythm and the, and the kind of sound that I'm, um, looking for so um, it kind of jumped out at me so so that <laughs> that's how that came about yeah <laughs> yeah and kind of um, opposite of that is your song rise which is the title of the EP also and I say it's kind of the opposite because it's you recorded a acapella with no mm -hmm. keyboard or anything and uh, it's kind of a very um, convicting song you know uh, so can you tell us a little bit about the lyrics and, you know, what what kind of, um, you know, inspired you to write that song? Um, well, I originally did it with guitar, um, and there was, like, an extra part to it. Oh. Um, that was in, 
actually in more of like a major key, and then it kind of switched to minor, oh. um, kind of the bluesy sound, you know. Um, and so I was just kind of playing around with my Mac and did the <laughs> did the acapella thing. I was like, oh, that's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I think I originally wrote this one in college, so it's kind of an older one that I pulled out and, tried, and kind of played with. Oh. Um, but um, I think just talking about how, you know, we as Christians are, you know, we're supposed to rise, you know, we're supposed to rise up and, um, and how a lot of times you see that hypocrisy in Christianity. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of gives us a bad name <laughs> with, yeah. um, at least, you know, I've seen that in working with college students. So many of them grew up in the church and are now just completely against it because mm -hmm. they saw a lot of that hypocrisy. Yeah. Um, and so, and, you know, I saw a little bit of it. I mean, I think we as humans can be hypocritical, you know, yeah. and so I saw um, that a good bit growing up. And um, so I think that's kind of where that came from was, um, you know, we say that we're supposed to love others and yet we kind of turn our backs on our youth or, you know, we don't reach out to those who really need it um, kind of thing. And, yeah. and the whole idea that, um, you know, it's loving and seeing the world, you know, seeing Christ's heart is seeing the world. Um, you know, he loves everybody. And so it's this idea that uh, we're supposed to rise up and love everybody and put you know, judgment and blame aside and, and all of these things um, because we are all human and we all mess up, but, mm -hmm. you know, God loves us all. So I think that's kind of where that came from was just kind of drawing on some of my experience. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so I think that's kind of where that came from. Yeah, it's a very powerful message. And I think uh, a lot of us need to hear that and be reminded of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so since it's a cappella, uh, can you go ahead and sing that for us? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where do you go? You're like, what? Uh, <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> so uh, you're hoping, you know, to release a re studio project in an actual real professional studio <laughs> where you don't have to, you know, mess with the recording and you have an engineer that can do all that and producer that can do that stuff for you, um, which I'm really excited about. You know, I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, seeing you do something in a, a studio, and I think that's going to be an amazing project. So I'm really looking forward to that. And for listeners um, who want to keep in touch with you and maybe follow what's going on, you know, with your music and ministry, um, how can they stay in contact with you? Um... I think Facebook is always a good option. Um, I have a Facebook page, it's a music musician's page. Um, so that's just facebook.com slash Kelly Puckett Music. Cool. Um, and then Twitter is always good. Um, it's uh, My name's I Kelly Puckett on there. Um, so I guess they can search for me on that. And um, I think those are probably the two best ones, I would think, um, as far as posting updates and things like that. Um, and then I also have a website, kellypuckett.com, um, but that mainly just has music on it. I don't really update, you know, yeah. hey, this is going on, you know, as much <laughs> yeah. as Facebook's usually the, the main thing that I use. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being on our podcast with us, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, what God does with your music, and... Um, I'm going to, you know, again, encourage everyone to go download your EP for free at noisetrade.com slash Kelly Puckett, and that's P-U-C-K-E-T-T. -T. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they donate towards it, you know, they're kind of supporting um, your future projects. So yes, definitely mm -hmm. do that if you can. So right. thanks again, and we'll definitely keep in touch with you and hope okay. to hear from you soon. All right. Thanks for having me. Thanks.